it's back. Oh yeah. Cleaning everything out, man. Four thousand dollars worth of work done on this van, and let me tell you something: it rides good. Oh yeah. Now I'm going to have to reconfigure this entire interior. At least I've got a good wall right here to work with, and I took that uh, crappy plastic, you know, little shelf system I had there, even though that did really work well but I'm gonna figure something else out. And 16 years riding this van. That's how long I've owned this, 16 years. Man, what a trusty, trusty vehicle. And now this one is gonna get retired. Cause it's done its job. It picked up the slack where it needed to pick up the slack. That's right. I'm going to clean everything out of here, too. But in the meantime, now I'm leaving the Craftsman box because that, that's a totally different ball game. I want to keep that because that's actually got my fishing gear in it, plus a bunch of tools in it now, but I still got to deal with all this. The ladder. Fishing pole stay, of course. And I'm just going to keep some basic handbags and a few other few other things in here. I'm going to leave it in here. But I'm going to move all this and get it transferred over to the other van. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, equipment, equipment, equipment. But it's what it's all about. I mean, you got to spend money to make money. That's all it boils down to. And since this van here is my trusty trusty all-time favorite this is the company this is what made me uh you know made me uh, go to work that name right there when i put it on the side of that van that's all it took and for 15 solid years running this business actually 14 and a half uh it, actually having the business itself and you can always tell that i really really Try to take care of my stuff. But the trailer's been working great. No issues. Absolutely zero issues. Went to the hospital, of course, first thing this morning and uh, cleaned out the uh, tunnel. That was nasty, too. But I got it done. Then ran up the road, got my neighbor. She drove me up to where the shop was and I picked up the van. All right, so we got all three of the vehicles here. And that's it for me as far as vehicles. I, I've made up my mind that the combination of what I already have is all I need. So this makes perfect sense. Now, I've only got one other issue with the O2. It's got a little bit of vibration at highway speeds. So that's going to the shop probably in about two weeks. And I'll deal with that issue. It's just a little bit of vibration. It could be a steering linkage. Who knows? Pitman arm, an idler arm. I don't know. Could be the tires. But we just don't know yet. So, okay. And one thing good about all this, all of this, I mean, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Hold on. Let that truck go by. From the bottom of my heart, everything is paid for, lock, stock, and barrel. Everything. The farm, all the equipment, every vehicle, every trailer, zero balance. Man, what a great feeling. So now the only thing I got to deal with is that. 
and I don't owe that much on it and I could stroke a check on it now and be done with it. I'm still debating that because it's still quite a bit of money, but I do have it. So we'll see what happens there. All right, guys, I thought I'd give you this up, update. The Mr. Fix-All van is back in its glory, ready to serve me another 15 years. I'll talk to you tonight. You know what to do.